The noho was a confronting experience for all us boys, but listening to it head on was enlightening. And in some ways, confirmation for what the Māori sidesteps stand for. If we're happy with the status quo, we're not changing anything. One of the biggest highlights for me, tikanga and kawa, political correctness is the term he used when there's so much PC in the old Māori, in Māori them, that is stilting the fluidity of mm -hmm. progress. London. Hi, Jamie. Why do you always speak in Māori? E e so I'm like, why don't I know te reo? It's not just because I haven't learnt it. There's, there's other factors, things that have stopped the fluidity of, of that happening, yeah. not just colon, colonisation, there's other things. What if I wanted to learn how to speak? Oh, mā kūkwe ako. Could you teach me? Me nā, ka whai wā ho. Well, only if you have time. I think about the work that we do, how much mahi we put into our, into our art, into our craft, which you know, takes up a lot of our time to, to, to keep that fluidity within our careers and our lives. Yeah. And I don't feel so bad about it yeah. Um, yeah. because I know that we, we are pushing boundaries yeah. with Māori values. Yeah. It's good to push the boundaries. Um, and I kind of felt nervous when I came here because I'm scared of making even a little ripple because I can't back it up with my reo or my knowledge. But I felt with my kite, my own kite of uh, performing, push the boundaries of Māori dim my way. Um, and then other waka can, can come and, and we can share our, our kai of knowledge together. And that made me feel like, yeah, I'm not alone. And it's okay to say, hey, I don't know this. Identity was a really core branch of, of Kōrero here. And I got to recognise the identity of the people of this area. Kō te awa, te awa kō au, you know, I am the river, the river is me. And what a strong sense of identity. I come from Dannyvert, that's, that's Viking town. It's like holding a mirror up to myself saying, yeah, what, what is your identity? It wasn't until I was in my 20s that I identified as being Māori, which might be, I don't feel like I have enough self-worth, but through this one, you know, it's like, you have all the worth you need, and more. How do we affect change? From what we learned from Ken and Gerard, they go through life not being politically correct, but look at things fair as they are. In terms of the Māori sidesteps, we've got to keep on pushing forward, I think, and pushing those boundaries. Um, tikanga is there to be uh, bent. Not everybody's going to laugh. Some people are going to throw stones at us. But in order to change the world, I think we have to push those boundaries. <laughs>